This morning, reactions are pouring in after President Biden unveiled a series of sweeping executive actions that could shield half a million undocumented spouses of U.S. citizens from deportation. And I doubt why the action we're taking today matters. If you wonder about that, just ask business leaders, ask labor leaders, ask economists, ask elected officials. They know it's good for American business. They know it's good for the American economy. They know it's good for America, period. Let's get more now from NBC News senior White House correspondent Gabe Gutierrez and Jeff Bennett, co-anchor of PBS NewsHour and MSNBC political contributor. So good to see both of you. Gabe, what more is the Biden administration saying about this? And are they seeing any legal blowback so far? Well, they expect it, Anna. And, you know, yesterday, the White House press secretary said that the White House believes that it does have the legal authority for this executive action. And it comes just weeks after that previous executive action targeted uh, tightening those asylum rules. And the Biden administration really expects these. They say they're getting legal challenges from both sides of the political spectrum. And last night, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas spoke out about this on MSNBC. Let's listen. What we do uh, before we take action is we study the law and ensure that the actions that we take are indeed lawful. That we have done with respect to this action, like we have done with all our prior actions. It is no surprise uh, that Stephen Miller intends uh, to attack this in the courts. We stand by it. And so, Anna, you just heard right there, Secretary Mayorkas bringing up Stephen Miller, who was, you know, the architect of uh, Trump's immigration policies. And that's something we're seeing not just from the White House itself and the Biden administration, but also from the Biden campaign. They're really trying to tie and bring up in voters' minds Trump policies when it comes to immigration and trying to have that contrast that former President Trump was responsible, in their view, for separating families at the border. And instead, President Biden is trying to make it here clear that he's for families sticking together. That's why he had that executive action uh, allowing undocumented spouses to stay in this country. And so now we are seeing Republicans slam this executive action. Let's hear what Donald Trump had to say about it. Joe Biden's forming granting mass thing. He's going to formally grant a mass amnesty to millions of illegal aliens that came into our country. <laughs> Crooked Joe is sending a message to the world that he rewards illegal entry, and that's what's happening. Jeff, just how important is the immigration issue for voters right now? And is there any sense at this point how this executive action is resonating? Well, it's hugely important, Anna. And, and for the Biden White House, this does a couple of things. One, the Biden team believes that polls show that the electorate wants a balanced approach to immigration. That's tough border security measures combined with real solutions for long-term undocumented immigrants. And, and to the great point that Gabe made, we hear President Biden say all the time that elections are about choices or elections are about contrasts, and that by keeping families together in this way, as the White House sees it, that, yes, they are convinced that when Americans are reminded of the Trump immigration policies and the at least 5,000 migrant families that were separated, forcibly separated as a matter of U.S. policy under the Trump administration, that uh, voters, by and large, will recoil. So you've got those 500,000, the estimate of 500,000 people who will benefit, uh, undocumented immigrants who will benefit from this policy. That's really pinpointed at folks in those key battleground states like Arizona and Nevada. Uh, one of the senators from Nevada says she thinks at least 10,000 people in her state will benefit from it. So in many ways, this allows the Biden White House, the Biden campaign to reset the parameters of this immigration debate. And this is, of course, coming just one week ahead of the presidential uh, debate. And you can expect President Biden will try to draw that contrast in stark terms on stage next week. Oh, Congress. definitely. Well, conversation to be continued, gentlemen. Jeff Bennett, Gabe Gutierrez, thank you both so much.